So welcome, welcome to New Age Africa, Nigeria edition. And we're so glad to have you here with us this evening. It's um, eight o'clock in Nigeria. And then we have in South, for our South Africans, it's nine o'clock, we're sorry. <laughs> for us, it's noon. Our day is just beginning. So we're so thankful to have you here. And I am really excited. I'm hoping that we're going to meet the challenge that, that Lee gave us last week. He told us each to bring 10. And we are a little bit short of that, but we are not shutting the door because it's not how you start the race. It's how you finish the race. So we're going to start with, I'm really super excited. We're going to start with one of one of one of my one of my sons, Anthony Moreland. Now, Anthony is an amazing businessman, but he's also an NCAA track star. Now, for those of you in Nigeria who may not know that, that is the highest level of college athletics. So, Anthony is a trained, performing winning athlete and he has chosen to join this business and so we're going to find out why and we're going to find out anthony are you on yes i am can you hear me i can hear you so let me ask you a question and i'm going to let you take it from here you know in nigeria we are going to get a whole new product line and it's a surprise because we are a, a publicly traded company. So it has to be released at once. It is in the works. It has been formulated. It is in production. But we don't know exactly what those products are yet. So, but we have started building a foundation. Does that make sense to you? And if you were way back then, would you do that? And why would you do it, knowing what you know today? Absolutely, absolutely would do it. One, knowing the owners of the company, knowing the staff they put together with the hot, they're always looking for the highest grade quality products, clean. I absolutely would. Just knowing Deanna Latson and knowing her staff and even getting to meet Lee and everybody else. Absolutely. It would be a, no questions, no questions asked. Now, did the, did the products given the parameters how did they how did they affect your performance one of the biggest ways i noticed first was recovery they helped me recover at rates that i thought wasn't even possible that was one of my biggest things that hurt me the most was recovering um also sleeping better people don't understand how just the quality of sleep when you start getting better quality of sleep you can do a lot more and then being focused those would be the top three things being able to focus in on what definitely in track there's so much that you'll hear when you're out there and the guns about to go off you get distracted but i noticed i was able to perform at a higher level just right there just focusing better as well well, you know, track is when we're in college, we think that's what we're going to do for the rest of our lives. And so now you're in business. Why did you choose to be a part of the new age business? And can you share with us your story with your okay. mom? Yes, I can. Um, I started, I started and continued and wanted to do this for a business. One I one would believe the community, the community of people you'll get in this from all over the world, whether you be in Africa, you start to notice the same type of atmosphere in Europe, same type of atmosphere in North America. You start to notice that what does all these people have in common? What is it that they're doing? Like, you just want to be a part of it. They're all happy. Like, I've never been where you got people from all over the world and everybody has a big smile on their face. And that's what I love the most about it. Uh, that's why I wanted to do it, but also being, I went to school for business administration. I, I was looking for a way to start a business, but most traditional businesses cost so much money. And I wasn't born into money or anything. I, 
I was looking, I was already working two jobs at 21 years of age and I was looking, but it just, those were, I just still had more month than I had money, mom. And uh, hey, I, I seen this as an opportunity. Started it on the side and um, started noticing how to, they didn't miss a paycheck. <laughs> so if I told somebody about something, come Thursday, Friday, or whenever we was getting paid, hey, it was, it was, the check was there. And that's what I love the most about it uh, as from the business standpoint. That's why I continue. And then I just love helping people, mama. I love helping people. There's no better feeling than helping somebody, whether it be with their health or with their finances or both. There's no better feeling than helping somebody, you know, reach their, you know, their goals and dreams. So how has it helped you in your finances? I haven't had to work for anybody the last nine years. And then when I did have to go work for somebody, uh, I realized that it was just like any other job. And that was a big multi-billion dollar company. We all pretty much know them. I worked with Apple for a while and um, realized it was just like any other job. They told me when I can come in, when I can go take a break, how much, how long I can take a break from, when I can go eat lunch. And it just bothered me to the point where I was like, man, I really got my hands on something that I kind of just put on the back burner. And, and uh, so for nine years, this amazing opportunity has been able to pay for my bills and now I'm 32 now. So it's awesome. Now you have one of the fastest growing teams in North America. How do you, how do you share it and who do you share it with? Well, I share it with anybody who has an open mind. If you have an open mind, hey, I'm going to share it with you. Whether it goes in one ear and goes through your brain and everything, or it goes out the other ear, I'm still going to share it with you. It doesn't matter I, in person, online. And that's what I love about this amazing opportunity and the things that they are working on to make it even easier and better. Since I've been in nine years, every every chance they get, they always do what they can to make it better for us in the field. And that's what I also love about it keeps us from having to do all the hard work, the paperwork, the, the shipping of products and and the manufacturing of products, things that a lot of people that's in normal business have to go through. We don't even have to worry about that. Our job is just to share. And that's there's no better feeling than being able just to share with anybody on Zoom like this or in person, sitting down and having lunch or something. So you are, are would you consider yourself a salesman? A salesman? Oh, no, I, I love to tell people, like, I, I shared this with somebody earlier. I was like, hey, I don't like to sell people. I like to let people sell themselves on what they need. I like to I like to just share with what we have, listen to people. Maybe they're dealing with aches and pains. And I just like to let people know that, hey, you know, you can sell yourself on what you need. Not, not me having to sell you, but technically, I mean, I guess I am a salesman, but I no, I don't have a problem. Well, I used to always run from that. But people need what we have, so I don't mind being called a salesman. So you're kind of an answer to prayer. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I love that. I love it. Okay, so um, you're now 32. You started in this business when you were 22. We have a lot of young men and women looking for an answer what would you say to them they're they're in their young they're they're young they're in their 20s um 30s and they're looking for a better way i would tell them to go for it. the sky is the limit there's no that me and my friends that was on the track team that got started with this we all haven't had to work for anybody the last nine years and we all started within a three month span of each other. I'm telling you, you can go as far as you want to go with this. You can bring anybody you want along with this as well. So don't, I mean, give everybody first dibs, but you know, hey, share with everybody. You can go as far as you want with this opportunity. There's no limit. There's no cap. The company love the company loves giving us money. Uh, so <laughs> I I tell you, I tell you what. This is the time to go hard. Momentum is a powerful thing in this industry, and I encourage you to take advantage of it. Every single day, share with somebody. Share this blessing with somebody. Don't hold it to yourself. All right. Craig, do you want to ask or 
add anything? You know, I, I'm going to echo some stuff that Anthony said. I mean, man, first of all, Anthony's my bro. You know, like he's and your I'm son. Their mom. Right, he's your son. I'm your son. <laughs> we all family. Um, so I love you. Um, but a couple of things you just said that really kind of stood out to me, bro. It's I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. You know, my mother told me when I was 13 to go out and, and find a way to get $20. Don't ever come and ask me for $20 again. She said, if you need money, you go earn money. And, and that's something that's really stuck with me. And through that journey, you know, I've learned a lot about business, you know, in, in the right way to do things and the wrong way to do things. And one of the things you said, Anthony, is really powerful. A traditional business, look, I, I think most people recognize that owning a business, period, is the only way that someone's going to get ahead in this world, the way things are changing you're not gonna you're not going listen you're not going to succeed working for the man it's just not gonna happen okay i've been doing it my entire life in parallel with running other businesses and the thing that always seems to come to the surface for me and you know mom eva and i have talked about it, anthony you just said it again starting a business a traditional business is a six-figure commitment and it's not like 900, not, you know, not $99,999. It's like multiple six figure commitment. It's hundreds of thousands of dollars to start. And there's no guarantee that you're going to be successful. None. In fact, statistically, and you've probably all heard this, most businesses fail within the first year to three years. It's just statistically not possible. And so what you said was really powerful, Anthony, that we don't have to manage inventory. We don't have to have a warehouse. We don't have to deal with customer service issues. We don't have to do accounting. We don't have to do payroll. I don't have to have employees. Oh my gosh. If you've ever owned a business, you know what a headache it can be to have an employee. And, and it's funny because the irony of it is that we go into business to create jobs and to help other people, but employees are such a challenge. And it's, it's really just profound to me that you're so tuned into that at 32 years old, that you fortunately have not made the mistake of owning a traditional business like Mama and Eva I have done. We, we've, we almost went into business together, truth be told. And it's, it was that trapping of being in business the last time that really reinforced for me why I continue to do this. And in Nigeria, you guys are gonna have such a foundational advantage within this company because of those types of, of intentional attitudes. We are building a warehouse in Nigeria. We are manufacturing products for Nigerians. We are going to create jobs. That's you if you're checking out this opportunity to stimulate the economy in Nigeria. I'm not from Nigeria, quite obviously, but I'm excited for you guys because I've seen what happens with this kind of an industry here in the States. I've seen it in other countries. I've seen other markets open up. And it's like Anthony said, it's the second thing you said. What would, what would I say to someone who's looking at this for the first time? Start, just start. Say yes and figure it out later. I forget who it was that said that. I think that's a Jim Rohn quote, but I'm not sure. Figure it out, say yes and figure it out later. The best thing that we have to offer in this industry is that we may not know what the products are that are going to be released right now. Lee knows, but he won't tell us. But even though we don't know the products, what I do know is that I've had some products from this company before and they work. And so, yeah, success, it's, it's right there in front of you. It's in your hand. So if you're looking at this, if someone invited you here to check it out, or maybe you're just new in the business and I know there's a lot of questions, I'm just telling you, all of those things that Anthony just said, they're spot on. They're spot on as to the reason why you should be doing this. There's no question of whether or not you should do it. The question really is, why haven't you started already? That's, that's what I would add on to what Anthony said. Hi, Yude. You are from Nigeria. What would you say to somebody who says, I don't have all the answers yet? Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, uh, sir. How are you, Mom? Uh, Anthony, Craig, how are you? What I will, we just say is that uh, by the time you have all the answers, you already lit. When you have all the answers, you already lit. Any business where you are, 
you have all the answers, then people are already ahead. And I would like to take some questions. People always ask Greg that uh, I don't know the product we are selling. Arix has this product. But the nature of the product that will be released to Nigeria, that's what we don't know now. We have limo, we have the energy drink, we have the cream, so they are there. But the name and what will be released to the Nigeria market, that's what we don't want to anticipate. And uh, this really is a nice time for, uh, I, I, can, I can't wait for us to start. Let me just put it that way. I can't wait for us to start. All right, now you know, many of you know that um, um, Kayade is, is yes. a leader of many um, very smart, strong business persons. And so if he's in this business, I would pay attention. So we have, um, before I hand it over to Lee, and I don't know if Lee's gonna be on or not because Lee challenged us. He said, you have to have 10 and I will come back. Well, you know, we've fallen a little bit short. So uh, are you going, are we going to wait? What, what, what are you going to do, Mr. Lee? You know what? I said that everybody must invite 30 people, uh, 10 people. So we would have been 300, right? So I see we are a little short. We are about 200, <laughs> 200 and, 250 or 240 people short. Okay, yes, I will. Keep I will keep. I've got faith in this team, right? I will be back on this call, and not only why, because I have a passion for people, and that's why I'm in this industry, right? Is that I understand that it is the team to be on a call week after week. Speak, speak, speaking the mind, speaking the message, and speaking the gospel of new age, right? Which I'm very excited about. So, if, um, just I haven't. My name is Lee Willendahl. For those of you who haven't seen me before, I'm the head of for New Age Africa. And as Mama Eva mentioned, um, New Age is a publicly listed company, and we listed on the Nasdaq. Now. That being, that being said, that means that we cannot share too much information at this stage until we've got full approval from our board of directors. So um, the one thing that I can say is that I hope that you are ready because that's, that's important. I hope that you are ready. So there's been a lot of talk around the products, right? So if you look at new age as a whole, we've got functional wellness products. We've got weight loss products, and yes, we've got some other products like skincare. So we will not come to market with products that's not speaking about wellness, right? So if you have a look at what New Age offers and you have a look at what Eric Oryx offers, you will sort of get an idea of the products that we will come in to Africa, okay? But we also understand that Africa's needs are special, right? And, and I'm not saying that we won't have the other RX products and the other new age products eventually, um, because we're running multiple streams of bringing products to Africa, bringing in existing products. So, so you will get some products that you recognize as well. I mean, as we saw some blue frog drinks there that might just come around sometime, we just don't know when, right? Um, so, but the products that we bring to Africa is that speaking to the needs of Africa, it's speaking to the pocket of Africa, right? Because we cannot just take something and copy and paste it. We are not, and not, and not the, we are not another network marketing company that's coming into Nigeria to dump stock that doesn't sell in other markets. Okay, we understand. Um, we've got a team in Africa already working on product. We've got a team in Africa already busy setting up operations. We are currently interviewing because we New Age understands to be successful in a country, you have to employ people from that country. Okay, so we are busy interviewing people for Nigeria to be the sales managers there and the operation manager. So
Africa has got certain challenges when it comes to things, right? Everything takes time. So we are busy building a strong foundation to make sure that we bring Rx, the legacy Okay, new age a legacy company. What does a legacy company mean? It's there for you, it will be there for you, it will be there for your children, it will be there for your children, children. But we're not one of these fly-by-night companies that's going to come in, get you all excited, get you all excited about product, get you to build a network, and then just leave you in high and dry. Okay, so that's why we're making sure that everything is stable, that we build this foundation strong. Okay, so then the other thing that I can mention to you is that um, you can research the new age RX compensation plan. We have one of the best, highest rated compensation plans worldwide. We will take what makes us successful in other markets and we will bring all of that to Africa. The one thing that we realize that will be different in Africa is that it will be easier to join the business and it will be more affordable to run the business. Okay, so that's great news for us. So we're not going to enforce rules and regulations that is in other countries um, that's difficult for us to achieve in Africa. We're going to make a compensation plan specific for us that's easy for us to manage. Um, so marketing, the people that joins first benefits the most, okay? Because they benefit from the people that join after them. So the more, the sooner you join, the more the benefit. So this is my message to you. And this is my challenge to you. To every single person out there that you care about, and even the ones that you don't care about, right? Get and tell them that one of the fastest growing, most exciting opportunities is coming to Nigeria. And they've got a special opportunity to lock this spot at no cost. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm much fine. Everybody's doing fine. I thank God for a day like this. What about you? Okay. So Anthony spoke, Anthony spoke about, he worked for Apple. And, and actually Apple was, was, when I spoke to Anthony before, he told me it was his dream job, right? So now, if you were on a Zoom call with a guy, an unknown guy called Steve Jobs, and he spoke about his vision, um, and you had the opportunity to get in on this, at this company called Apple, which is a funny name for a company if you think about it, right? If you had the opportunity to join an Apple um, before anybody else, and you did, you took that leap of faith, where would you have been today? Okay, where would you have been today if you took that opportunity? So I believe that one day you will be able to say, I once was on a call with this guy called Lee Willendahl. <laughs> Not that I think I'm Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs, right? But I was on a call with a with Tammy, with all a lot of people, okay? And I took this opportunity and look where I am today. So I believe in divine timing. And this is really divine timing. I can is the last frontier. Um, and I believe it is our time and it's our opportunity. We will provide you with training on product. We will communicate with you along the way. We will provide you with training on the business. We will provide you with everything that you need to know around social media and growing your following. Um, before we even go live, we will get you ready, business set up before. All that you need to do now is get ready and spread the news. So I hope you're ready for a new age, a new company, and a new you. All right. Thank you. And thank you for continuing on with us even when we didn't meet the challenge but we will well I was, I, was so, gonna, I was gonna say eva you know technically i mean i did stats in college so you can make numbers say whatever you want 
And okay, so what do we want him to say? Well, so technically, you know, you and I and Roberta Perkins were on here last week that I can see. Um, so technically, we're at 37. We could assume that we each brought nine people, which would actually make our numbers statistically accurate. Although I know see, that that's now, not is, is he brilliant or what? <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, you got me convinced. You got me convinced. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to just do a real quick, I'm going to be a mama here for a minute, and then I'm going to turn it over to Craig to wrap up. But not everybody saw because it was last night, but I want you to think about something. There is a story that many of us know. It's a story in a, a very old wise book that talks about 10, because we were each supposed to bring Lee 10, and it talks about 10 virgins and I just I, I had this vision of you know what that's like 10 business women it's it's a story an analogy also for business I mean it talks about the bridegroom which is so much more than what we have here but it it is and it isn't Craig it's like there were 10 business women and they needed to have oil in their lamps and so they all went out and they got the oil and they were waiting for their reward to come and they didn't know when it was coming kind of like new age africa opening we don't know when it's coming we don't know exactly all of the details but we know that the reward is coming because we have heard it we have seen it in, in North America. We've seen it in Europe. We've seen it in China. We know it's coming and we know it's good. So there were five, there were 10 of them and they, they, they took their oil because they wanted to make sure, even if it was the middle of the night, they wanted to be the first one there. So five wise businesswomen got all the oil they could get. They didn't worry about whether it was from Tahiti. They didn't worry about whether it was from Japan. They didn't worry about where, where the oil came from. They just made sure that they had all the oil they needed and they were ready. And then when it was time for the reward to come, there were the others who, you know, they weren't sure. They didn't have all of the details. They didn't know if they had the right kind of oil. They didn't know if it was the right wicks. They had to go back and get more because they wanted to make sure it was perfect. Well, while they were making sure it was perfect, the five wise business women, when the doors opened, it talks about the door opening. When the doors opened, they were ready and they went running through the door. So my question to you, are you going to be one of the five, the 10, the 15, who are wise enough to know that your reward is coming and you're ready? Or are you going to quibble about what kind of reward it is? Personally, myself, if it's a reward, I'm taking it. And that's all that for that. So. That's all I have to say, Craig. I want to turn it over to you. Be a wise business person. I will be wise, but I will not be able to be a business woman, I think, for very obvious reasons. Well, but we don't want you to be a business woman. You can be a business guy. <laughs> I am. Okay. Wisdom is wisdom. Truth. So, I, I, you know, it's, it's, always, uh, it's always interesting to me when we try to wrap up one of these, these Zooms here in Nigeria, because I think everyone would agree that well, Nigeria is just a very unique and different and beautiful place. And I love the focus that we have on these Zooms. They're not like our traditional uh, other business calls that we do and, and really want to reflect, Lee, on something you said about divine timing. Um, you know, I've been, I've been in, this, in this industry for a little, it'll be five years in May. And, you know, the reason I got involved in this industry is nothing to the reason why I've stayed in this industry. They're two very different things. And, and I think if I look at it, um, it's that divinity that you're talking about. And I was, I was, doing, I was doing my devotional this morning and I wrote this down and, and I, didn't know, I didn't know that I would share it, but I will uh, because we're family. And um, so I'm gonna share it. So it says, I, felt I, I was reading in Isaiah, um, Isaiah 63, 13. 
where it said, so I led them out of the land of Egypt and brought them into the wilderness. And if anybody knows anything about that book and that particular story, um, you know, the thing that always comes to the surface for me is the fact that we can be led in, in that case for days, months, and still seem to be wandering around without a purpose and not knowing whether, whether or not you should follow that leadership, that counsel that's in front of you. And I think it's relevant to what we're talking about with Nigeria. Um, so I wrote, I wrote this kind of as a reflection to that, that passage. So I follow him because first he led me. I led others to him because first I was led. And of my own power, nothing do I possess. But in his pierced hands is where he holds me. I just, I feel like, if I can be real for a minute, I feel like if you're watching this, if you're on here, whether it's live or it's a recording, whether you're one of the 35 on here or one of the future 350 that will watch this, it's not a mistake. You've been led here. It's divine timing. If you're watching this, then you're where you're supposed to be. Don't be like the Israelites and wander around in the woods for too long. Because like Lee said, you'll miss this opportunity. Timing matters here. You want to be involved now, not six months from now. <clears throat> I'll close with a, a personal story. I am... Um, had an Apple situation happen to me since you brought it up, Lee. I, I was asked about, I don't know, it was probably about 15 or 16 years ago now to get involved with some penny stock for this cutting edge, this bleeding edge technology company that was going to change the world. And it was, there were literally pennies per share. And I said, no, I said, I'm not, I don't, I'm not interested. I'm just, and, and looking back, it was probably more fear, but like you said, if I had looked, and I do it often, unfortunately, look back now and see where I had an opportunity to buy 10,000 shares of this penny stock for just hundreds of dollars. And I look at the current stock price of Google today, I probably wouldn't be on this call because, well, I wouldn't need to be on this call. I would be doing very well for myself. But I missed that opportunity to get involved with Google. Um, I turned my back on it because of fear. I turned my back on it because maybe I just didn't trust the person that shared it with me enough. Maybe I just didn't believe in myself. Other people that are going to watch this and you might be thinking the same types of things that I'm not sure if it's the right time, or I'm not sure if I can do this, or I'm not sure if I have time or what if, what if there's too much risk? Um, what if the reward never pays off? Well, I have one more to add to your pile. What if you're like me and you don't take the chance and you miss out? What if? Be one of the five wise virgins because new age Africa is a virgin in Nigeria. Be wise, have your oil ready. Your reward is coming. Let's go out and change the world. Craig, as always, if it wasn't for you, Kleenex would not have any stock. <laughs> Lee, thank you so much for still, for believing in us. And I love your statistics, Craig. <laughs> Anthony, what can I say? I love you, love you, love you. You are an inspiration to us all. So. Go out and let's change the world one story at a time. Bye-bye now. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Spread the word. Craig, thank, thank you, you for your story. I, that Bye, everybody. was fantastic. Beyond words. Awesome. We love you, Coyote. Yes. Love you, Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye.